Hi everybody, welcome to a new project and welcome to my channel. This is Sleeping Beauty from Stamparia and we're making this beautiful book. This is a project for Scrap and Create and you can get all your supplies there. I will have a link down below and a list of everything that I used. Um, and also a link, probably not on this video, but on the first tutorial video, I'll have a link to the cutting guide for this project. I just don't have it ready, that's why I don't think it's going to be on this one. Oh, but in any event, I had two 12 by 12, two 8 by 8, a rice paper, the wooden shapes, the card collection, the die cuts. I think that's everything that I had. Um, I also have some other, uh, I have this, I believe I have the 6 by 6 and another rice paper, so I'll be doing another project in this collection um, down the road. Anyway, so let's take a look at this one. It is eight and a half tall by six and three quarters wide with a two and a half inch spine. Um, as you can see, it's got a very um, simple cover, but I think it's a pretty cover. It's wrapped on the spine in rice paper. Then it has a mat, and then it has an elevated mat with this beautiful image of Sleeping Beauty. And then it has wooden shape plaque here with gold edging. There's gold edging here. This is the gold that I used. It's linked down below. And then this is a wooden shape and these are die cuts. And it has a charm closure. And the charms are all from Scrap and Create. When you place your order, you'll get a little mesh bag that has metal pieces and charms. And that's where all those came from. And then this is the back. Okay. So let us take a look inside. So this is a card, and it's normally tied closed, but I have it untied so I can show it to you. And it has a little tiny grommet to help keep it closed. And it just opens like that. And this is a fussy cut from the collection, the 12 by 12. There is room for three side pocket inserts. I did not include them. I didn't think it was necessary, but of course, if you want to make them, by all means. Um, here we have a belly band. All of the photo mats are, the, are just plain craft cardstock, plain on the back and a mat on the front. So that's that one. And then this is from the card collection, which I loved having. It made, um, it was just really nice when it came time to doing inserts to have those. Um, so that's that. Then the next section, this is a pocket page. The next section here is sewn into the book. It's a sewn signature. And um, these are from the collections, Fussy Cut. The paper here is an 11 by 17 paper that I coffee dyed, and I will link this paper below. Um, you do need a pretty big paper to fold in half and still get pages this size. So that I'll link what I used. And this is from the card collection. This is one of the cards, and this is just a photo mat. There's a lot of just plain pages for you to do what you want to do with. Um, this has a pocket. This is from the die cuts. These are from the cards. And a photo mat here. And that's just partially glued down so you can use it as a tuck spot. And some plain pages. This is a burgundy cardstock that's been matted. Um, here, a scrap of paper has just been glued down on two sides to make sort of a semi-pocket tuck spot. We have a few of those in there. And just sort of quick go through. Here's a pocket. This is another one of the cards and a photo mat. And this is a fussy cut. And now we're back to another pocket page. And this is a um, die cut. This is from the cards. I believe this is from the cards as well, or it might be an 8x8 cut apart. I can't remember. And then this, and this is actually loose here as well, so you could put your own picture there. And this is from the um, die cuts. This envelope is from the card collection that I'm opening, and it has a card in it also from the card collection. Actually, you know what? I'm looking at this envelope. 
because I see the inside of it. I think I actually made this envelope. I, I misspoke. This is The envelope itself is not from the card collection, but the card in it is. Um, we have a pocket here. This is from the 8x8. Just a photo mat there. And then we get to another sewn section. It's going to be similar to the other one. Here's another one of those um, tuck spots. This is from the card collection. This is a fussy cut. It's a pocket with just a photo mat. And here is another one of the pocket tuck spots. And a pocket here. As you can see, there's tons of room for your journaling, your photos, whatever you want to put in. Here's another one of those little tuck spots, but at the bottom. I'll show you that. And then we get to the last pocket page, and we've used just a piece of vellum just to give it a little touch. And this is one of the cards turned over that we've um, layered with a bunch of torn pages, some rice paper, and then decorated with some fussy cuts. And that's the inside back cover, it's just matted. And then this is a flap with a pocket with a photo mat and just a cut part. And then you saw the back. And it does, I mentioned it has the chain and charm closure right there. And that's how it looks from the top. You can see it has lots and lots of pages. So that is that. I hope you'll join me in making it. It's lots of fun. Um, the first tutorial should be up tomorrow, I believe, tomorrow or the next day. And I guess that is it. I will see you next time when we get started. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.